الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته and a good morning to everyone we welcome you to another episode of morning tea talaqi and tadabbur where every session we will focus on two aspects of the Quran number one is talaqi reciting uh, verses of the Quran to kick start our morning then the second aspect is Tadabur where we will uh, reflect upon some of the verses that we have read insyaAllah so first and foremost let us begin our session with Ummul Kitab Al-Fatiha in the hopes that this session will be a beneficial one and serves as a kickstart to a productive day ahead insyaAllah ala hadhi niya wa kullu niyatin salihah Al-Fatiha أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين Alright, so for today's session we will be continuing our recitation of the Quran by reciting page 112 okay, 112 and this page corresponds with Surah Al-Ma'idah Verses 200, uh, sorry, 24 till 31 Okay, so if you have your own mushafs with you You may follow along by turning to page 112 If not, you may follow along with the verses that will be displayed on screen Verses 24 till 31 of Surah Al-Ma'idah Okay, let us begin A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir wajim قالوا يا موسى إنا لن ندخلها أبدا لن ندخلها أبدا ما داموا فيها فاذهب أنت وربك فقاتلا إنا ها هنا قاعدون قال رب إني لا أملك إلا نفسي وأخي فافرق بيننا وبين القوم الفاسقين قال فإنها محرمة عليهم أربعين سنة يتيهون في الأرض فلا تأس على القوم الفاسقين واتل عليهم نبأ ابني آدم بالحق إذ قربا قربانا فتقبل من أحدهما ولم يتقبل من الآخر قال لأقتلنك قال فإن قال إنما يتقبل الله من المتقين 
just finish uh, reciting verses 24 till 21 from suratul maidah so verses that we can contemplate and reflect upon from those that we have read can be uh, the story okay, of the two sons of prophet adam alaihi salam notably uh, habil and qabil and their story is um, told in verses 27 till 31 okay and to go through a bit of its story starting with verse 27 what's to alayhim naba abunai adam uh, so this tells the story of the two sons of prophet adam alayhi salam habil and qabil إذ قربا قربانا when both of them made a sacrifice okay and this was by the order of their father prophet adam alayhi salam and the prophet uh, their father got this order from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to test their faith in allah so allah asked them to sacrifice uh, a thing that they loved most So, what happened? We continue the verse. فَتُقُبِّلَ مِنْ أَحَدِهِمَا وَلَمْ يُتَقَبَّلْ مِنَ الْآخَرِ So, one sacrifice was accepted, but the other sacrifice was rejected. Uh, it is said or mentioned in various tafasir, um, citing various narrations of uh, hadith, that the sacrifice that was accepted was the one which was presented by Habil this means that Qabil sacrifice was rejected okay so what happened was uh, Qabil when he realized that his sacrifice was rejected he couldn't fathom it okay? he couldn't accept that so he had this hatred he had this jealousy towards his brother Habil. So what did he say? Qala la aqtulannak. So I verily I will kill you. I want to kill you. So mashallah look what happens uh, or what stems from uh, with uh, as a result of this hatred and jealousy. Okay, to the point that Qabil wanted to kill his own flesh and blood, his own brother. But Habil being the one who uh, has iman, has taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala His reply was one that we can um, ponder upon okay? What did Habil 
reply qala inna ma yataqabbalullahu minal muttaqin Allah only accepts uh, the sacrifices of those who are pious okay uh, so citing the reason why qabil uh, sacrifice was rejected because um, the reason qabil um, handed in his sacrifice was not for Allah but to show that what uh, that he was better than habil uh, so he wanted to show off that he is better than habil in sacrificing something bigger something better but Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala rejected that because at the end of the day Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala does not look at what you sacrifice but why you sacrifice that thing all right and also uh, habil continued to remind his brother who wanted to kill him la in basatta ilayya yadaka litaqatulani ma ana bi basitin yadaya ilayka liaqtulak so if you should raise your hand against me to kill me then i shall not raise my hand against you to kill you right inni akhafullaha rabbal alamin verily i fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, this shows that um, Habil was not keen to fight over um, the sacrifice that they presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you want to kill me kill me I will not fight back uh, it's not something worth fighting over and then he continued to remind him fear Allah uh, because he feared Allah so he didn't dare to kill his own flesh and blood but did that deter Qabil from uh, killing his own brother no in the end Qabil um, was filled with anger hatred and jealousy and he allowed all these things to consume him which in the end he killed his brother and it was only when one thing happened that he um, that he uh, regretted his mistake uh, so that was when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a bird okay, in the last verse فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ غُرَابًا then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a crow يَبْحَثُ فِي الْأَرْءِ لِيُرِيَهُ كَيْفَ يُوَارِي سَوْأَةَ أَخِيهِ And this particular crow um, in a way showed um, Qabil how to bury his brother. Uh, so the crow found another dead crow and uh, buried his fellow crow. Lah. Okay. So when Qabil saw this then Qabil uh, regretted his mistake oh how low have I um, become okay, until a mere crow has to show me how to bury a person uh, so at that point of time he regretted his mistake and he proceeded to bury his brother ok so this is the story of uh, Habil and Qabil, the two sons of Prophet Adam alaihi salam, um, based on the verses that we have recited, okay, verses 27 till 31. So what we can take away from this story is that humans, being humans, okay, we are very, um, very weak. Okay, we are created weak. Kuliqal insan mudaifa. And that means that sometimes we may have uh, ill feelings towards our friends, our own flesh and blood, our own family members, for example, we have hatred, we have jealousy, we have anger. But when that happens, we should not act upon it. Okay, to the point that Qabil killed his own brother. Uh, we should not act upon it. Rather, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, guide us. Uh, 
guide us back on his path to turn back to him during those times and if we don't do so uh, we will suffer the same fate as Corbyn uh, being someone who uh, regrets his actions uh, so we wouldn't want that uh, and rather we should uh, take heart of the characteristic of Habil uh, when, when he was confronted by his own brother that his own brother wanted to kill him uh, so what did he say? Uh, he remained steadfast in um, believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in uh, having faith being fearful towards Allah and he would do nothing that would harm his relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so two key points number one we don't let uh, ill feelings consume us okay rather we should turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and number two we should constantly maintain our iman and taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every given situation okay we suffice with that reflection hope it has been a beneficial session if you have found this session beneficial do like and share this session so that many others may benefit too we thank you for following us um, throughout this session may you have a good day ahead a fruitful day ahead till next time fi amanillah assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh